Hey, Bryce, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. The Big Family Homestead. Today, we're going to show you how to uh, seal up buckets mm -hmm. with food, mm -hmm. long-term food storage thing. Yep. And it's super easy. So Super easy. Here we go. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a bucket. Uh, we get usually for, uh, food grade buckets, um, but you don't have to get a food grade bucket. You can get them from Home Depot. You can get them icing buckets. You can get wherever. They're going to um, be sealed. They're going to be sealed, so it doesn't really matter. Um, some Mylar bags. So these are one gallon size. These are five gallon size. Nice big bags. And oxygen absorbers. Very, very important. You're also going to need some kind of heating device to seal the Mylar bags. You can use a um, an iron for ironing clothes or this. Super fantastic, super easy. It's just a hair straightener. All right, first things first, you're gonna put the, the Mylar bag inside the bucket. And yeah, it's a little tricky, so it's gonna take some finagling. What you want to do, though, is try to get as many wrinkles away from the side walls yeah. as you can because it makes for a better, well, And try and get sealed. it flat on the bottom. So I'm yep. going to put this down here. Okay, so this is what you're looking for, a nice flat bottom, and try to keep the sides as flush as you can. It'll make for a better, well, seal. Yep. All right, next you're gonna just fill up your bag with whatever food you wanna put in there. Uh, we're not gonna talk about specifics on um, how long things are stored. We're just talking about how to store these said items. So I'm just using a scoop yeah. to carefully put this these potato flakes in a bucket. What you're looking for is to be just below the, the, the line top. of the bucket there. Yep. So now you're going to get your oxygen absorbers out. These are individually packaged, 10 to a package, which is fantastic. Uh, that way you're not having to open the whole package uh, and then have to reseal this. Um, but since these are small, I'm going to go ahead and use five of these uh, in this bucket because it's pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fold this over and make sure that this is straight and just press out as much air as I possibly can. I'm going to spin this around this way. Extra hands help with this. Yeah. And then I will take this iron and just start sealing it. Still. Little air in there, but the oxygen, oxygen absorbers will, will take, take care, care of, of that. It. Yep. There you go. And just close this down. Poof. And don't forget to label it. <laughs> yes. That happened to us one time where we actually then had to open it several years later because we forgot what it was. Yeah. <laughs> so you're done. We're done. No, I've got to label it. I'm going to go get my Sharpie. One little tip is don't just label the side, label the top too, because sometimes you stack them in, in different ways or, or you need to spin it and see what's in it. And the date on when you sealed it. Boom, mm -hmm. date's important. Yep. So told you, really, really easy, nothing hard. Nope, not hard in any way. Really inexpensive if you want to save food long-term. Yeah, getting stuff in bulk is the way to go. Yep. But you got to make sure it's not going rancid and right. yada, yada, yippee, skippy. Yep. But I guess that's it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. Yes, have an amazing and blessed day.